And as we have seen in the past with Q School, you've got names on the top of the leaderboard you expect to see, and maybe some you didn't. Blaine Hale playing great golf to this point, just a couple off the lead, currently in the top five, and right now in the hole. How about that? Way to open the show. Did he know he was coming on live? Wow. Thank you, Blaine. Get us going early. Eagle at the fifth. He moves to nine under. Well, just about another hole out. How about that shot from Crow? In there tight, gonna tack on another birdie. That's gonna move him. It's been 15 minutes and you're already acting hey, like a... He made it. It's okay, we're good. I don't know if I'd give you that putt if we were playing a match, but... Left a couple putts out there yesterday. Can he get one to go? Beautiful. Had a four putt in his round. That is a great save. Big momentum mover on the last. Able to get that up and in to save par here at the sixth. 10, one of the easiest holes on the golf course. 11 is the easiest hole on the golf course today. And Springer pours one in at 10. Look out for Springer. If he gets that club working. Here's Crow at 11. Yeah, what a roll, right in the middle. How about using that read off Nakajima? No, I mean, not, not a seeming chip. It's pretty good to watch. You know who needs to hit a green? This guy. He's trying to hoist it up from right to left, ride that breeze. He hit the green. What a fantastic swing. Well, he hit a really nice shot from over the green. Had to hit this flop to get it to this point. And, and now first he's 10 to under. 10 under. First to double digits. Spencer Levine was a guy you felt like would win this week. And you said that before Thursday. Why do you like his chances here? Well, apart from the obvious that he does a lot of things well. How about Spence? Started the week with a two over par. Shot 64 yesterday. And look what he is doing today. 14, and this from long range at 15. Can't do it, can he? Can't do it, can he? It's Spence. Yeah, he can. Watch out. A man that has played 244 times on the PGA Tour. Both tense. Oh, and another beautiful iron shot. Fairly similar to what he did yesterday on this hole. Go to Walker at 14. Let's see if he can walk this one in. Up and it's over. Moving. It's moving. Yeah, Hello. Putt. Oh, baby. Nice roll to extend the lead. Downhill right to left. Confident stroke. And he is probably the player we have seen mostly in our coverage look the most comfortable right now this whole location front right only 11 paces on and seven from the right oh he likes it beautiful swing how good from Spence another opportunity hanging out of a turtle's back over the penalty area there Let's see if our leader can knock in another one he just got the read off Westmoreland Sure he can. Red hot is in the cut. Ah, I like what you did there. Within two of our leader. Uh, pours that one in right in the middle. Great putt. First birdie, first under par hole since that hole out eagle at the fifth. Aiden Springer at 16. It's a great opportunity for birdie for Springer. And he has looked fantastic with the putter today. Isaiah Salinda here at the 17th, just off the green. Kind of a cool little shot. Oh, that. Yeah, pay it off. Oh, that is crafty. A little uh, shout out to Afa Barn right there, a little Ty Spinner. That was kind of Ty Spinner-like, wasn't it? Yeah. Oh, yeah, outside opportunity. Long range for Birdie. And we talked about his story. Oh, putt. 
Oh, oh yes. A birdie. And he's very confident, great around the greens. And have a look at this. That is how you know someone is feeling their short game when they take quite near a full swing for such a short shot. Best in the field. And another up and in. What a round of golf. Gonna play some conditional on the Corn Ferry Tour, but this is a guy that has a real shot at a PGA Tour corn. And he's talked about it, never had status before, played one Corn Ferry Tour event last year in the Veritex Bank Championship, so a huge final round coming up for Blaine Hale.